if I bleed tonight. Hi there and welcome to the Water Report, your weekday gaming news for February 9, 2017. Digital Foundry has put Sony's new PS4 Pro Boost mode to the test and revealed that it can help frame rates increase up to 38% on unpatched PS4 games. The frame rate improvements are title specific, so the likes of Destiny being locked to 30 frames per second gets no benefit. However, other titles such as Battlefield 4 do see huge benefits. Games still need to be patched to take advantage of the 18 additional cores available on the PS4 Pro. However, it's good to know that if a developer isn't planning a patch on an older title, then it may still play better on PS4 Pro. We've linked to the entire Digital Foundry article below our video, allowing you to find out more. Sega's Player Player Tetris will launch on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 on April 28 in the UK. The game comes with a variety of different modes, although if you like, you can just play the original game and ignore the rest. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will also launch for Nintendo Switch on the same day. For Honor releases on February 14, however, if you're still unsure, then you can take part in the open beta which starts today and runs until Sunday, allowing you to choose from one of three factions to play as. Playing as either Vikings, Knights or Samurai, the open beta, which is available to all players on PS4, PC and Xbox One, should give you a decent taste of what to expect. Siberia 3 has a release date of April 21st for Europe. The point and click adventure series sees lawyer turned adventurer Kate Walker is born in solving puzzles after being found left for dead on a shore. The game comes out over four years after it was first announced for PC, PS4 and Xbox One. A Nintendo Switch version is also planned, although will arrive later in 2017. Hot Wheels are coming to Rocket League on February 21st, with the Twin Mill 3 and the Bone Shaker being transferred into battle cars thanks to the exclusive wheels and 6 decals that you'll be able to buy for around $1.99. As an added bonus, all players, even those who don't purchase the Hot Wheels DLC, will gain access to a free Hot Wheels antenna and topper, Treasure Hunter flag and Shark Bite topper as random post-match drops in the forthcoming update. Project Cars 2 has been detailed by Slightly Mad Studios who have revealed that the game will include over 170 cars and 60 tracks. The game will also include more racing disciplines such as mud, ice, snow and dirt racing. As far as other features go, there will be an online championship game mode, the dynamic weather system from the first game will return, and there'll be support for resolutions up to 12K on PC, while VR will also be supported. Project Cars 2 is out later this year on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. Hitman is to get yet another elusive target tomorrow to eliminate Adies Azivor and retrieve maps and digital files. Remember that an elusive target cannot be restarted once any targets have been eliminated or any objectives have been completed, meaning that you only get one chance. Completing the elusive target's objective will also get you some very unique rewards, so it's well worth doing. Capcom's announced the next Street Fighter V DLC character, known as Queen. Queen's V trigger Diamond Dust freezes the opponent's stun gauge, and if Queen is successful in stunning the opponent, they will be frozen in place. Queen originally appeared in Street Fighter 3 and returned in Street Fighter V Story Mode. Queen arrives on February 28 and is the second DLC character to be released as part of the Season 2 content. Before we wrap up, there's some breaking news just then that South Park The Fractured But Whole is delayed for the fiscal year 2017 to 2018. The game was due to release before April 2017 but will now release after this date. Other breaking news is that GTA 4 and episodes from Liberty City are now backwards compatible on Xbox One. Thanks for joining us for this latest video. Please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for now. Bye.